Hello everyone and welcome to On The Spot STEM. Today we're going to be tackling 2019 Amy 1 problem number 5, which reads as follows. A moving particle starts at 4,4 until it hits one of the coordinate axes for the first time. When the particle is at the point a, b, it moves at random to one of the points a minus 1, b, a, b minus 1, or a minus 1, b minus 1, each with probability one third, independently of its previous moves. The probability that it'll hit the coordinate axis at 0, comma 0 is m over 3 to the n, where m and n are positive integers. Find m plus n. Okay, so let's comprehend the problem. So the pro a particle starts at the point 4, 4, and from any point it's at, let's suppose it is at point 1, 2, it'll move to one of the following points, a minus 1, b, which is a move to the left, a, b minus 1, which is a move down, or a minus 1, b minus 1, which is a move diagonally. And it'll, as it starts from 4, 4, we are trying to find the probability that hits the coordinate axis at 0, 0. So now let's interpret the condition of hitting the coordinate axes. So now we look at this. You can see that this diagram has a modification that we have diagonals to indicate point second move, uh, the fact that the particle can move diagonally. Here are the coordinate axes that we can hit where the particle has to stop moving immediately. Now, we can make one important observation from the fact that the particle stops as it hits the coordinate axes. Our goal is to end up at 0, 0. From what places can we end up at 0, 0? We can go from 0, 1, we can go from 1, 1, or we can go from 1, 0. However, note that to go for uh, that 0, 1 and 1, 0 are on the coordinate axes. This means that if the particle already hits one, 0, 1 and 1, 0, it'll stop moving and it will not be able to go to 0, 0. That means that the goal of the problem of reaching 0, 0 can be reduced to the goal of reaching 1, 1. So now we solve a slightly simpler problem. How can we reach 1, 1? So, we can narrow our scope of thinking to solve this version of the problem. So, we can note that in this diagram, we have 4, 4 up here and 1, 1 down here. Now, let's figure out how to go there. One important thing to consider in most grid, pro grid walk problems is that you want to work from the start and figure out how to reach the end. In a lot of grid walk problems, this involves the number of ways of going from the start to the end or the probability of going from the start to the end. We are doing the latter in this case. So what exactly does this mean? Well, let's see it in context. To find the probability of reaching 1, 1, let's start off with the probability of 4, 4 or our start point. This is quite simple. It is a probability of 1 because we are guaranteed to start at four or to reach four comma four because in the problem we start at it. Now we have to interpret how we can move. We see that from four comma four we can go in this direction, this direction, or this direction. However, looking at the reverse might be a more interesting approach to work our way forward. For example, Let's consider, consider, consider the point 3, 4. If we are looking at this point, you can only reach this point in one direction, from here. The probability of the particle going from 4, 4 to 3, 4 in this specific direction is one third, as it is with any specific direction, as it is with any specific direction, because one can either go one third probability this direction one-third probability this direction, and one-third probability this direction. Now, we look at over here, and similarly, we get a one-third over here as well. 
We can continue extending this approach for this point, this point, this point, and this point. To reach here, there is only one direction you can reach it from, from the one-third. Therefore, the probability of reaching this is one-ninth. To reach this point, we can only come from one-ninth, so the probability of reaching here is one-ninth times one-third, which is namely one over 27. A common motif that we can see in here is that this problem is reflected. Any way we can do to get x comma y, we can do to get y comma x due to the symmetry of this problem. Good. Now since we have the outer grid, we can go to some interesting stuff, the inside of the grid. Specifically, how do we reach 3 comma 3? Well, there are three directions we can approach 3 comma 3 from. This direction, this direction, this direction, which I will call A, B, and C respectively. To go from direction A, we need to go from one-third down, and this happens with a one-third probability. So the probability in reaching 3 comma 3 from this direction is one-ninth. Now, we repeat a similar process for directions B and C. For directions B, it is a probability of the particle reaching that point, which is one, times the probability of going to the new point, which is one-third. So one times one-third is one-third. And finally, we do this for direction C. What is the probability that the particle reaches the initial point? One-third. What is the probability that the particle goes to the new point? One-third. We multiply both of these to get one-ninth. Summing up all three of these values, we get that we have a five-ninths probability of reaching three comma three from all directions. Now, we can repeat this algorithmic process for all the other points in the grid. For example, let's see how we can reach 2 comma 3. We can reach a 1 ninth probability times 1 third probability in direction A, 1 third times 1 third in direction B, and 5 ninths times 1 third in direction C. To save you the math, I'm going to tell you that this value is 1 third. And similarly, due to, the reflect, uh, due to the fact that this board is reflected, this is also one-third. Now, let's continue doing this process. We, there is a one twenty-seventh times one-third probability from this direction, one-ninth times one-third from this direction, and one-third times one-third from this direction. This yields us a final value of 13 over 81. and the reflection follows. Now, to find a way to reach two comma two. This is one third times one third, five ninths times one third, and one third times one third. This gives you a value of 11 over 27. We're getting much and much closer to our final goal. Now, the ways to reach 1 comma 2. There is a 13 over 81 times 1 third in this direction, 1 third times 1 third in this direction, and 11 over 27 times 1 third in this direction. And again, to save you the neck breaking computation, you get 73 over 243. And similarly in this direction. And now to save you the verbal diarrhea that I've been saying, that I've been repeating over and over again, you'll be seeing that to reach this point from this direction, this direction, and this direction, you have a probability of 245 over 3 to the 6. Wow, is this our final answer? Hell no. What you are going to be seeing is we need to go from 1 comma 1 to 0 comma 0. And because there is a one-third chance that 1 comma 1 will follow the specific diagonal direction required, we get that our final answer is 245 over 3 to the 6 times one-third, which is namely 245 over 3 to the 7. 
to put it in the submission format that the problem wants, we get the answer 245 plus 7, or 252. Voila, you have just solved Amy 1 2019 problem number 5. Now, let's look at some big, su big summary that we can get from this problem. First note that we had to come through this observation through simplifying the problem. We were given the uh, conditions of the coordinate axes and we were given the conditions of 0, 0. However, we narrowed the scope of our problem to make it more comprehensible by changing it to 1, 1 and having a direct step from 1, 1 to 0, 0. More importantly, we can see the process of a grid walk over here. As you can see, grid walks can get very bashy and because there is a lot of multiplication, you have to be very careful. Doing grid walks on very extensive problems can be very risky because you, might, you have the chance of making a silly. And if you do this problem, you might want to repeat the grid walk two or three times independently to make sure you don't make a silly mistake in contests. But if you follow this, you will always algorithmically be able to find an answer. And that is what we are looking for in the end. Thank you for watching. Like, subscribe, or comment, and make sure to follow uh, to watch more on the spot STEM videos. Thank you.